talk about observability? I don't know. Is that the next section? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But Let's start with the most exciting one that I know that you're looking forward to, and that's the, the dashboards, right? Are you, you're kidding, right? <laughs> we'll find out. Or we could compromise, you know? We have a new season of YouTube's coming. It's about observability. With security, I was a little baby deer in the headlights. I didn't know what I was getting into. As you start learning more, you realize like, oh my God, what have I done? But the thing is with observability is I kind of know what I don't know. And I don't even know how do people get started with observability? It's madness. They start uh, by watching uh, some dashboard type of tool until they get very, 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 very bored, usually after a month or two. And then they say, okay, that's it. Let me find out what is this line over here. Okay. So that's like once you already have a problem, less about setting up the observability system in the first place and more about investigating the actual problem that's happening that you can see because of observability. What is the goal of observability at all? When we finish this chapter, what will we have made and done? People will be watching more stuff that we will show them than Netflix itself. We will take away their market share. Watch out, Netflix, we're coming for you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You thought that Disney is your competition? Wait until you see dashboards with pretty colors moving things around like this. We have each episode is a system design choice. Each chapter represents, mm, we'll say you choose is a choose your own adventure through the CNCF landscape. And we've already, this is chapter four. I won't go into all of it, but last chapter we did security. So every system, every episode was a security related system design choice. We brought together all the re relevant CNCF tech that can do that thing. And then <laughs> Victor, <laughs> I'm tired of hearing myself say it too, but <laughs> there are some people who are watching it for the first time. We should let yeah, them know no, what's no, happening. It's, it's age. No, no, it was very, very interesting. It's just that I'm at the A, I passed 50, so I get tired very, very easily. It's not, it's not you, it's not security, it's me. <laughs> All right, we're doing it for observability anyway. I don't know why I'm talking about the past. Every episode is a system design choice. We bring together all the relevant CNCF tech that can do whatever that thing is. The person who represents that technology gets only five minutes to present about their technology. We only want to hear the good stuff. We don't want to hear all the boring things. So do it in five minutes or Victor will gong you. And he's very excited about that. And then at the end, we have a discussion and then we put it to a vote. And whatever technology that you vote for, you, the viewer, that's the one that gets implemented into our ongoing demo. So we're about to start a new chapter, Observability. It starts September 3rd, I believe, the first Tuesday in September. It's going to be bananas. We're going to have dashboards with a lot of pretty colors. It's going to be amazing. Numbers, graphs, arrows, animated. You're going to feel like you're in a Pixar studio. That's how, how it's going to look like. Yes. So... We're thinking about like, okay, what do we want to observe? Do we want to observe um, infrastructure or applications? And if we're observing applications, do we want to see interactions between applications or do we want to see how each application works? And then for each of those things, do we want logs or metrics or traces. What kind of format do they have to be in? Where's their final destination going to be? What do we want to learn from them? And then those get collected or maybe exported. It could be a push situation. It could be a pull situation. And then that technology is maybe going to put it in a database, but maybe not. Maybe they're going to store it on the local node and things will get queried in a distributed way. Maybe there's different storage for short-term data and there's different storage for long-term data. And maybe it needs to change formats again to be able to go into the database, which by the way is optimized depending on whether it is logs or metrics or traces. How does, like, it's so much, Victor. <laughs> how does, like, I don't understand how anyone gets started. And then, and once it is somewhere, it needs to be able to be queried and it needs to be able to be visualized. That's the whole point is to be able to ask questions of your system, right? It, or it's at least like, I mean, in a, if you're doing it really well, you should know what problems are before your customers know what the problems are. Uh, not necessarily. 
because you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> Which is the whole problem of observability. By definition, a problem is something that you did not expect, because if you expect it to appear, then why would you leave it as a problem, right? You could know that a problem's going to be in a certain area without knowing specifically what the problem is. Yeah, and also because you're lazy, kind of like, oh, I know that this application crashes once a day. I could fix the application or I could watch it and then restart it every time it, it, it's about to crash. Yeah, but I mean, that brings up actually a great point too, because all of this observability, all of these different signals, this is all massive amounts of data that we're transforming and rooting and storing and figuring out how to query and visualize. Like at what point is it better and cheaper and maybe easier just to restart the application that you know is going to crash once a day than, than do all this instrumentation to figure it out? No, but you're going to have the instrumentation no matter whether you fix the application or no, right? Wait, why? Because something else will happen, right? An asteroid is going to hit one of the locations where your data center is and you need to be prepared. It's unexpected. So we're going to do our best to navigate all of these questions and all of these problems and talk to all the observability experts across all different angles of observability. Wait, wait, wait. I thought that there are no questions. What do you mean questions? I thought that the answer to every question related to observability is open telemetry. <laughs> You're so confusing me now. I'm so, I, I so, so do not understand what's going on right now. So this is the promo and the entire episode. The end. September 3rd is the premiere episode of the open telemetry season <laughs> of you choose. Just kidding. The observability season of you choose. We're going to start with an episode about dashboards. We're going to do episodes about metrics, logging, traces, cost optimization, progressive delivery. What else? Did they ever did they ever answer such a question? That's it. It's over. Come. It's over. Come 